In this video, I go over five tips for open format quick mixing. Find out what those are coming up. Thank you for watching P.TV where you'll find tips, tricks and tutorials for DJs and music performers. Now let's get into the video. So one technique I really like to use when I'm mixing open format, especially around peak time or headliner time, is starting to fire faster and quick mixing. Now this is a skill that I had to pick up and learn from watching other DJs and picking up different tricks and techniques of how they did it and integrated it into the things that I already knew. And then it also gave me things that I knew that I needed to work on to get better at mixing faster and keeping that party energy up. So my first tip is to make sure you stay on top of your organization be it if you're using iTunes to make your playlist, if you're using Smart Crates in Serato DJ or Recordbox DJ or whatever you're using, or you just have you know crates that you make by hand and then you hand pick and select certain songs that you know will go into certain crates and you have a certain organization type that you know up here that makes it really easy for you to find the songs that you're looking for. Now this really matters because if you're mixing really quick and you only have 30, 20 seconds to get from one song to the other, it's really critical that you know where the songs that you're looking for are and you aren't spending unnecessary time scrolling up and down your library or hitting all and going through your entire library. Instead, going to that one crate or one playlist that just has a few songs, maybe a couple dozen, couple hundred, and you can grab that song really quick and fire that next song right away. My next tip goes hand in hand with keeping your organization on point, and that is to add extra cue points, especially around choruses or you know definite mix out points. Now I know a lot of DJs out there that are pretty lazy with their cue points and they just have one at the beginning, at the beginning of a eight bar intro or wherever they drop mix in, but having cue points around the chorus of a song or where you know you're gonna mix out, especially if you're just learning you know, how to mix faster and how to you know, quick fire songs off when you're open format mixing can really help. It kind of gives you a visual marker where you know you should start mixing in or you know where you know you need to cut out the song at the end of the chorus. So adding <clears throat> so taking the time to actually add in those extra cue points makes a world of difference, especially when you're learning to speed up your mixing process when open format mixing. Now to go along with that point, especially if you're using Serato DJ, you have the ability to actually label your cue points. So if you're you know, going ahead and putting a cue point at the beginning of the chorus and putting a cue point at the end of the chorus, one tip and technique that I used to use and I still use sometimes is that the cue point at the beginning of the chorus, I'll go ahead and change the label from just you know the normal time that it leaves and actually put in the amount of bars of the chorus. So usually it's eight bars. So you know I'll just type in eight bars for that section. But songs like Too Short Blow the Whistle, it's a four bar chorus. And you, you know when you're speed mixing and going really quick, you might forget and you miss that drop and you have four more bars of intro or you know you just mess up the phrasing of the mixing but if you have that you know visual representation right there with all your cue points it tells you it's four bars it's one more tool visually that you can use to make sure all your mixes are phrased right and you can drop those songs right on point my fourth tip would be to create what i call mini sets meaning chains of maybe three to five songs that you know go together really well <clears throat> and you can have really clever mixes maybe using wordplay or tone play or something like that where anything that can thread a couple songs together you know have those set in your mind maybe save a couple in some crates and it can really help you get through some mixes because if you pre-plan those sections i mean at that point it's really not pre-planning but performing songs that you know go together well and use your creativity to make them make sense and surprise the crowd with the way you you know connect these songs and i'm not talking just you know eight bar intro to chorus but Make it your own a little bit, flip it a little bit to make it special and maybe part of your signature sets that people know, oh yeah, he's going to that thing where he goes from this song to this song in a you know specific kind of way. These things not only separate you from other DJs and make you unique, but they also take up a nice amount of time in your set. So if you have a five song section here and maybe an hour later you have another three to four song section here, those parts of your set are already kind of planned out and it's just planning around those and you know guiding from one set to the other and just filling those gaps actually makes it a little bit easier to get through quick mixing. And finally my last tip and to me the most useful tip is make sure you use your prepare crate. I know when I first started DJing in Serato DJ or back then Serato Scratch Live I really didn't utilize the prepare crate nearly as much and that's because I really didn't you know 
understand the use of it and how to use it where it would make sense and make your job as a DJ easier. So the way that I use a prepare crate and the way that I've seen other DJs that quick mix really use the prepare crate is say you have one song loaded, the crowd's digging it. Instead of just, you know, scrolling through and picking the next song, pick four or five songs that you, you know, might work, might work together. And also pick another song that can take the crowd completely left and switch the energy somewhere else just in case, you know, where you think you're going isn't working out. You have a way out and you have it all saved in that prepare crate. So giving yourself those options and preparing instead of just the next song, preparing the next three or four songs really can speed up the mixing process and just maintain that, you know, pulling a couple songs to prepare as your set's going on and you'll always be ready to fire off the next song and get through the set even faster. So those are five tips for open format quick mixing. So question of the day, what techniques do you use when you have to open format quick mix? Go ahead and leave that down in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. And as always, if you find this video useful, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, go ahead and click right here to subscribe to this channel. Or if you'd like to watch more content, go ahead and click on that video right there. And thank you for watching P.TV where you'll find tips, tricks, and tutorials for DJs and music performers. See you next time.